Hi, this is an absolute beginner's tutorial of how to use the various arithmetic operators and with the use of if statement to determine which options made here. So if I select addition, I can always enter whatever value in there and get it added. Subtract, that should give us net negative number. Division multiplication and division so what i'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and we put one of these together step by step welcome to visual basic.net step by step tutorial for an absolute beginner i'm going to start by clicking on the create new project right there and what we're going to be working on today is the use of the various arithmetic operators so let's give our project a name so i'm going to call that vb arithmetic operator there and i'm going to enter b and g beginner right make sure visual basic is selected and select windows forms application and then click on ok okay now that my form is ready i'm now going to just sort of like define the size a little bit wider and extend it a little bit more then make sure your toolbox is is on site and click on the toolbox let's select the following i'm going to need a button and right down here we need a list box and we also need text box right there with those three components in place i'm going to go to the properties and just use the font to enhance the look of those objects now let's select maybe 28 make that bold there we go now grab the text box let's paste it aside and there uh, that is the button we're going to need more text box and list box so but before we do anything you see this text box it does have a rectangle there let's click on that rectangle and select multi-line you can now define how you want the rectangle and in here you see the label i'm going to copy that the label and the text box hold on to your control click and drag okay and let's copy the label one more time there we go so this tutorial like i said earlier on is just about the use of arithmetic operator maybe we should or we should add the title let's come up here and just enter a title we call that arithmetic operator it's an a missing so we arithmetic operators right you're using arithmetic operator now this label i want to use that as my output so let's come in here and change the properties of that very label the first thing i would like you guys to notice is where we have auto size we're going to change that to false back color i'm going to change the back color to white and the border style let's change that to fixed 3d see it now looks just like a text box let's get rid of the text content in it there we go okay now let's add a radio buttons let's come in here and paste that here i'm going to change the the font size for that particular radio button so let's make that bold as well and 28 
here we go and this very radio button I'm just going to copy it across there. the first one is going to be known as RB addition or we can just call it add and the text content on it will be addition the second one is going to be known as subtraction and we'll call this RB sub next one is going to be known as RB let's say mod and this is going to be known as RB division okay let's enter multiplication here multiply there why the text on this label that will be known as enter first number number and we repeat the same thing for the next one enter second number and the last one is going to be known as let's call that result there now for this label let's give that label a name so that very label is now going to be known as LBL result select that change the name to LBL result and the next one is going to be known as txt second second number and followed by txt first number the difference between the label and the text box is that the label is just one in output device why the text box we can use that as output and input device so those are the difference between those two components all right the next thing we want to do now is this very label or button let's call that btn total and we we'll just enter total there bring it down call it total there that's it all done okay all that is left for us to do now is to double click on the total and I'm going to declare as follows dim f f stands for first number and s second number as strings the next thing I'm going to say is let's dim r that will be the result and m that will be for the first number or well, let's just say tf and ts we we'll say as double okay i'm using double just in case okay this is going to be for my result this is going to be for my first number as well and that will be for my second number i'm actually using the string variable because all of the content inside the text box let's say f equals txt first number dot text the reason being because this component they only accept strings value so and the second one which is s equals so that's going to be txt and string value as well dot text okay the next thing we want to do is I'm now going to convert these two string values into numeric value okay and I'm going to use the function C type so let's say ft dot tf equals 
C type and the content inside it will be whatever we have inside F we want that converted to double so that is taken care of let's convert the second one as well and that is T S equals whatever we have in here as well convert it to double so that is going to be s s for second number now the next thing we want to do is we want the result if r b add dot checked equals true then r equals tf plus ts and the result is going to be inside lbl result of text equals r there that's all there is to it all we then need to do is just copy all of this and use else if there that is if that is for subtraction and this becomes subtraction copy it again repeat the same thing for the next one and the next one so let's assume this is division this becomes division here and if we have multiplication here and this becomes multiplication as well there that's it guys this is just to convert the text so we can say convert text to double you can convert it to integer or anything and the same thing here and this is where the calculations take place okay so have a good look at those lines of codes guys before we run it those are the variable okay and this is where we assign values to the variable so let's run it okay let's enter whatever value in there and there so select addition there we go subtraction there multiplication and division there so that's all there is to it so let's run it one more time then we can call it the end of this program there we go guys we just enter whatever value in there and add subtract multiplication and division so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial bye for now